Yo, what up, everybody? Carver Moses with you. Welcome. It is time to do 1617 Studio Basketball. Eight box break number eight. Speaking of from downtown, I hit that card already. I hit it last night. And it was for the Rockets, James Harden. That is the case hit, one of those per case. It is uh it, it is a nice looking card, and there's nice looking stuff in studio. Yeah, I just I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, I, I don't like exactly. That's my thing. It's not breaker friendly. You know, there there are cards upside down, there are cards, you know, facing random directions. So like I'm constantly having to like shuffle cards and have them facing, you know, right side up and whatever, and it, it's just for a diva like me, it's not fun. But that aside, there there is nice looking stuff in here. It's just like you say, Katie. See, I'm I'm glad somebody's paying attention to me. Yeah, I, I just don't like how the cards are are facing random directions, and I'm constantly having to shuffle them and whatnot, and it's a pain in the butt. But that's what I'm here for, right? All right, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Finally get some more basketball in the store though. Spectra basketball coming out. Like I said, Katie, uh, we already have it priced out. Courtesy of the cardboard Jesus. So I just need to, uh, you know, peruse it. And then, uh, you know, make adjustments where I see fit. And then put it in the store. Anyway, Katie, how you been? I, I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Hope all is well. Uh, Jason, status is after this break. So if I had to give you a time frame, I would say in the next 30, 40 minutes, status basketball number 12 will be up. All right, let's see what we got here. And so it begins. Hey, there's an autograph. To start things off, for Michael Carter Williams of the Bulls to 199. No problem, Jason. That's what I'm here for, man. You guys got questions? I may or may not have answers. <laughs> All right. So begins the torture. Hey, another one from downtown. Damian Lillard of the Blazers. Those are about one per case. That's pretty sweet. Nice looking card. Nice hit for the Blazers right there. This, this is what I'm talking about right here. Two in a case. Yeah, last night it was uh, it was James Harden of the, of the Rockets. And tonight, Damian Lillard, Blazer. So, little hot case there. Harrison Barnes. That's a Warriors patch, but it's going to the Mavericks. Numbered 6 out of 15. That's kind of cool. Going to the Mavericks, but it's a Warriors patch. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let me go ahead and get my tea loader. Hey, a Ben Simmons rookie card. And you know it's a rookie card because you got that RC right there in the corner. Nice looking card.
Russell Westbrook die cut. Alright, that's one box down. Where's my thing? Here it is. This is box number two. If anybody wants to keep count. A John Wall Wizards die cut. Again, nice looking cards. Just annoying that I have to flip through every other card. It's just a minor inconvenience for me. Check Diallo, the auto to 299 for the Pelicans. France parades down champs, uh, Champ Alize. Did I pronounce that correctly, Fabrice? Ah, one of these days I'll know what it'll feel like when Colombia wins. Or the USA. I think Colombia will win one before the USA. Anybody see uh, that video of LeBron James at a summer league game hugging the uh, his new teammates? I don't know. I thought it was a little weird. Dragon Bender of the Suns patch, dude. We were so close to, to like. I felt like if James Rodriguez was healthy, we could have we could have gone to the final, and it would have been France, Colombia in the final. And it would have been an epic game. But you know, either way, uh, I knew France was going to be a problem because they just they have so much talent. They just had to they just had to put it together. And as the tournament went on, you know, they just got better and better and better. So I'm I'm happy that France won it. I'll be honest, I was rooting for Croatia. Because they've never won a World Cup, and I wanted to see a new nation win a World Cup. But it's only, you know, France's second title. Another Ben Simmons rookie. So, you know, good for the, uh, for the French. On to the Euros in two years from now. The Women's World Cup is next... Uh, 
next year, next summer. And it, it wasn't even it, well. Yeah, for, uh, for Brees, yes, and Mbappe was great. But man, a lot a lot of people need to give credit to their goalkeeper. France's goalkeeper was outstanding. And Gries, Griezmann is a beast, man. He does so much for you guys in the midfield. Plays defense, keeps the pace, amazing passer. Can shoot the ball. The one that I was a little disappointed in was Giroud. But, but you know, even though Giroud didn't score that, that much... He caused a lot of havoc. Just a solid, solid effort all around. Pogba is Pogba. I mean, come on. Pogba's a beast. Everybody knew that. He played well. And he, you know, showed out in the final game. So just great performance all around, all overall by, by France. And they, they deserve to win the championship. But now that there's no soccer, what are we going to do? Yeah, exactly. It's like you say, Fabrice. A Giannis die cut for the Bucks. It was a complete total team effort by France. Autograph for the Jazz, Trey Lyles to two ninety nine. Jazz with a hit. Fabrice, where uh, did you end up? Finish watching the uh, the pay per view last night, the WWE pay per view. I know you were hanging out with me a little bit, and I kind of spoiled it for you in the beginning. But did you end up watching the entire thing? It was a pretty good pay per view, honestly. Probably their their best in a little while. Monday Night Raw is tonight. If Brock Lesnar doesn't show up, he needs to, uh, or I should say, Kurt Angle is going to take his title away if he doesn't show up tonight. So, of course, he's going to show up. But, you know, should be interesting. You fell asleep in the third match. I forgot that time zone difference is, uh, is a factor. It was a pretty good pay-per-view, uh, Fabrice. The pay-per-view began at 1 in the morning over there? Oh, man. Yeah, forget about that time difference. That's like uh Dang, that's like a six-hour difference. Because the pay-per-view... The pay-per-view started over here like around... Seven o'clock. So if it started at one over there, man, that's a six hour difference. Oh, you gotta watch WrestleMania, man. Next pay per view is SummerSlam. SummerSlam is usually like when they start hyping up WrestleMania and stuff. So 
so it should be interesting. All right, what do we have here? This is box number three that I'm on right now. What's up, Chase, over on Breakers? How are you? A Dr. J die cut for the Sixers. I, well, it'll be at the end of the month, I think, SummerSlam. Not this month, but next month. There's, there's a few pay-per-views that are always, like, great. SummerSlam, one of them. The Royal Rumble. Um, WrestleMania, obviously. There we go. Autograph for the Heat. My boy Josh Richardson to two ninety nine. Very nice. Your dad worked WrestleMania because he works at the New Orleans Superdome and Arena. What does he do? Is he like security or something? Dude, I, I would not be able to work. I would just be watching the whole time. Uh, peep, dude, there's like all these kids are getting by in your area. Yeah, so man, I'm, I'm watching the match right now. It would, just, it would be just be chaos if I was working there. I would let everybody buy. He's in charge of the electrical department. Oh, wow. That sounds intense. Denzel Valentine of the Bulls with a patch. I was going to ask too, like, what's he in charge of? Like, the pyrotechnics or something? That would be dope. If he's the reason that the, that the fireworks go off and whatnot, that'd be pretty cool. Ben Simmons, rookie for the Sixers. So what, so what is exactly does he do, Katie? Does he travel with the WWE, or is, or is he strictly an employee of the New Orleans Superdome? Well, that's already done, so I'm not even worried about that. That's trash. Um... I don't know what this is about, though. So I bought these new shoes over the weekend on one of my days off. Because, I, you know, I haven't bought anything for myself in a while. Well, you know, aside from food, you know. But like I haven't, you know, I haven't bought myself like any clothing or like a video game or like anything in a while. So I was like, fuck it. So my boy picks me up. You know, and then we went to like this outlet mall. And they have like a Nike factory there where they, they like if you go at the right time, you could find yourself like some deals, bro. Like I found my boy a pair of tens, some Jordans, tens. Uh Retail, it would have been like close to three hundred dollars. Got them for about two hundred bucks. So you can get some really good deals if you if you go at the right time. So me and my boy figured out the best time to go really is as soon as they open up, because that's when they're you know putting out the new merchandise and whatnot. And I ended up finding these pair of Harachis, bro. Mind you, I've never owned a pair of Harachis. And for my sneaker heads out there, you know what I'm talking about. Dude, these have to be the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. And I used to rock like the orthopedic shoes when I was a kid. Because I couldn't really walk straight. Those are pretty comfortable. But now this one got like the same orthopedic comfort. But with the Nike check. And they look cool. So I, I, I'm currently in the process of... Uh, 
getting more Harachis. I want to get them like in as, as many as many colorways as possible. There are these new J's that are coming out in a couple weeks that I want to get. But I need to be an adult. I got to get my car fixed. I got to do a, you know, uh, it's due for, uh, for what you call it, for some work or whatever. I recently got 60,000 miles on it. So it's due for its 30,000 mile, like, tune-up or whatever. Dude, that thing's going to cost me, like, 500 bucks. So it's time to be an adult. Either I'm going to get some new shoes or I'm going to make sure my baby keeps working the way she's supposed to. So it's, it's going to be, uh, it's obviously I'm going to go with the car. Anyway, McCollum, the 299 Blazers Auto. Yeah, Arthur. Jay Crowder, rock solid die cut for the Celtics. Celtics are doing real nice. What's up, Midway? Nah, man, I'm not going to get no kicks, bro. I got plenty of shoes already as it is. And, like, by, by sneakerhead standards, I don't have that much. Uh, Braden, 2015 Chrome Baseball number 5 is not next. Status Basketball is next. After Status Basketball is Chrome Baseball. So if I had to give you a time frame, I would say within the next hour. But nah, man, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my car fixed. You don't, you've never paid over seventy. Well, Arthur, as a sneakerhead man, it's like I can't explain it. I really can't. I can't justify it either. Car Anthony Towns Timberwolves patch. Like I get it. Like no disrespect, Arthur. But the shoes you bought are probably not like they're not Jordans or nothing. They're, there's nothing special, right? You know, I'm I'm talking about Jordans and like expensive crap. The most I've ever spent on a shoe, almost three hundred dollars. And I still have those shoes. And they're still pretty clean. I've only worn them like a handful of times. <laughs> what can I say, man? I like, like, you know, everybody has their own thing. Like, you guys collect sports cards. I like sneakers. I can't see myself paying that much for shoes. Dude, Arthur, I can't see myself paying for this. You know? Let's be honest. I can't see myself spending money on cards. Same way you guys can't see yourself spending money on shoes. You know, at least I could wear my shoes. What are you going to do with these cards? Put them up on a... You know, when people come into your house, like, Oh, man, look at my look at my cards. I don't know. Like, to each their own, you know what I mean? It's the same... It's the same deal, Arthur. You budget for cards, I budget for shoes. You put your cards in the Huffy spokes? <laughs> well, the base cards for sure. Base cards for sure. Good, Arthur. Don't don't go down that route. It's it's a slippery slope. Oh, dude, what? Breaking is hella fun. Katie, until you're doing it. You know, it's, 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 the grass is always greener. Until you get there, then it's like, oh, what? I mean, Katie, let me put it to you like this. You think I make any money doing these eBay breaks? <laughs> the answer is no. So, well, how do you think I get my money? Very, very simple. It's what I sell. So if I don't sell anything, I don't make anything. So uh, so tell me now. Tell me again. Do you, are, you, are you sure you would like my job? The stress and the pressure of, you know, meeting quotas and blah, 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 blah. You know, sitting in front of a camera eight, ten hours a day, talking to yourself. 
you know, try not to lose your mind. Does that sound like fun to you? If so, we're hiring. Pfft, Katie, who lied to you? <laughs> ah, that's cute. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, far from it. <laughs> Kyle Wiltger to 299 Rockets. Dude, I wish I was a porn star, bro. But, you know, I was reading up on porn stars because, you know, I'm weird. And apparently, as a dude, to you know, for a dude to start off as a porn star, you would have to start doing, like, male-on-male -male action first before you could, like, graduate to the ladies. And that is, uh, that's a no. That is a no. That's a hard no. No, thank you. Oh, dude, a lot of things are better than being a corrections officer for sure. That, man, that is a tough job. I know, because one of my best friends is actually a CO. And he tells us some stories, man, that I, I see in my nightmares sometimes. Uh, midway, as far as the mixer is concerned, man, we don't break anything until it's all sold out. And, yeah. Oh, dude, Arthur, that's that's a tough gig for sure. That's a tough gig for sure. Mark of Soul, Grizzlies patch. I think Eric is also a CO. So you got a, you got a buddy there. As there is down to 11 teams left. Last time I checked uh, midway. My man Kevin. Arizona Corrections for 12 years. Man. Well, Katie, you got to work your way up to this. You gotta, we got to start you off as a sorter. And see how you do doing that. You know, and I feel to be a breaker, your bullshit skills have to be like top notch. So Arthur, are you are you transferring to something else or or are you retiring? The 27th. Man, that's right around the corner, bro. That's like 11 days away. All the way in Louisiana. Yeah, it's not that far from here. It's only, it's only like a 12-hour drive or something like that. Ah, going to a different job where... All right, Midway, I will be here. No more correction. So are you going to stay, like, in the same industry, more or less? Are you going to be, like, a security guard somewhere else, maybe? I don't know. But that's awesome, though, Arthur. I'm, I'm glad that you are uh, going on to bigger and better things. Because that is, that is a dangerous job, corrections. I have heard some stories, man. The human highlight reel, Dominique, with the die cut. You're going back to school, Arthur? If you are, just just don't take out any any loans, bro. Don't get in student loan debt. My life would be so much easier if I didn't have to pay student loans. Like I, I could probably live on my own right now. But, you know, it is what it is. Juan Hernan Gomez, Nuggets patch. You're going to be a lineman. Like, for what, the Dallas Cowboys or something? 
Uh, status basketball is next. Thomas, you are correct, Amundo. Status basketball number 12 is next. After that, we have Chrome Baseball. And that'll do it for our eBay breaks until they pick right back up at midnight. My man Brandon also did corrections for 13 years. Man, a lot of you guys COs, man. I can only imagine some of the stories you guys got for me. Dang, Arthur. Yeah, I'm, I'm currently... I'm currently doing that right now. It's gonna... I'm in debt for like over a, like close to 100k. But hopefully I'll get there. Bledsoe, Sons, Die Cut. Oh, line, alignment is uh, working for an, a, an, a, an electric company. Buddy Heald of the Kings to 299 the auto. Dag, it took you 13 years to pay off 27k? Well, goddamn, I feel way worse now. I mean, I've been paying mine off now for like, I want to say at least six years. And I've had, I put a little debt in it, but no, <laughs> got a long way to go. But I'll get there. I'll get there. I want. I want to get. I, I have a plan, and if I can stick to it, I'll be done with like all my student loans and all and all that other stuff in like ten years. If if I can keep going down the road that I'm going and stay disciplined, I could pay off my student loans in the next ten years. Yeah, Eric, that's that's honestly like I'm I'm in the process of doing that, man. But it's uh, you know, I, I want to say it's it's hard, but it's really not, man. Like it's, it's just being undisciplined. You know, anytime a girl calls me or my boys are like, "Yo, what are you doing? You ain't doing nothing, all right? Let's go, let's go get drunk or let's fucking go to the titty bar or whatever." You know what I mean? Like I'm at that age still where it's like I still want to do stuff. And, but yes, I, I do need to hunker down and just get it going. Yeah, I'm not gonna claim bankruptcy though. I've I've spoken to a few people there, a few like accountants and uh, financial advisors and blah blah blah, and they do not advise claiming bankruptcy or defaulting or none of that. But what do I know? Uh, what is this? This is kind of cool. Insert top five. Right there. Tell me about it, Chris Fitz. Tell me about it. Let me top load this. Arthur, that's what's up, man. Yeah, you gotta make listen, you gotta make that choice. Family over everything. Hot dogs and ramen for show. I mean that was that was like my college meals right there, man. Back when I used to like donate plasma and stuff. Good times, good times. Number one job for shortest lifespan and highest divorce. That's no bueno. Well, make sure you get out when you can. Arthur making a very wise decision there. Russell Westbrook Thunder Patch. Your dad, what? Your dad did what? Claim bankruptcy? When he was younger? That's just, that's one thing I don't want to do, man. I got a plan. And if I can stick to it, I'll be done with my, my student loan debt in like the next 10 years. 
But if I like really hunker down, I don't. I could probably do it in like eight. But it's as you say, those the it's the interest that kills you. All right, so we had a hundred fifty panini points there. We got to random that. A Giannis die cut for the Bucks. And that is going to do it for the break, my friends. All right. There is the one uh, situation we got a random. The 150 Panini points. Got to go to somebody. So let's go ahead and hit that random. Let me uh, go over here. Put her on the screen. Well, Chris Fitz, if you can afford it, it's a gr it's 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 a great it's a great experience. Uh, if you can't afford it, now I will admit I could have made some better choices in my life, but I have no regrets. And dude, I have memories that I'll cherish forever. Like college was one of the best times I ever had, and one of the darkest times I ever had, honestly. But it's, it, dude, I would not sacrifice it for any, like, I, I don't regret uh, any any of my choices. So that's, like, why I guess I can deal with it. I don't know. Anyway, so there you can see in the random list I have all the teams there. Let's go ahead and hit the random. Going five times in the random. Top team wins the uh, Panini points. Here we go. And the money shot five. Boom. Five times. It's going to the Kings. Congratulations, Kings. Winning a little something, something. Let's uh, go ahead and hit you with the recap. All right. We did get from downtown... Case hit Damian Lillard Blazers. Cool looking card. Uh, let's start a recap with the patches though. Westbrook Thunder. Hernan Gomez Nuggets. Gasol Grizzlies. Anthony Towns Timberwolves. Valentine Bulls. Thomas Celtics. Bender Suns. And number to 15, Harrison Barnes Mavericks. In our autos, we got. Buddy Heald Kings, 299. Kyle Wilger, Rockets, 299. CJ McCullum, Blazers, 299. Josh Richardson, Heat, 299. Trey Lyles, Jazz, 299. Check Diallo, Pelicans, 299. And Michael Carter Williams of the Bulls, 199. And that was the break, my friends. Thank you very much. We'll get it out.